Hello everybody, and welcome to my new daily series. I'm Jesse, and this is Escape Velocity. Um, actually, it's Escape Velocity Nova, but um, it's... Uh, how do I say this? I'm using a mod to turn it into the original Escape Velocity from the early 90s. And Escape Velocity, you probably never heard of it. It's a, uh, it's a space simulator. Uh, originally just for Mac. Eevee Nova, the third game in the series, was ported to uh, PC as well and to newer Macs. But the original Escape Velocity is just for like Mac OS 9 and below. Um, but it, because of this mod I'm, uh, for Eevee Nova, I'm able to play it on here. And I'm going to create a new pilot. Uh, name's going to be Jesse On. And my new cargo shuttle is going to be called the Lousy Rust Bucket. There we go. And so, a uh, little bit about Escape Velocity. Uh, this is the first game series, early 90s. Um, I need to check to see when exactly it came out, but it's pretty old, and you'll see that it's pretty old. The graphics are, graphics are pretty nice, you know? Pretty nice graphics. But um, there was a second game, Eevee Override, and that was my favorite game in the series, Override was. Um, Nova's alright, but it's a little too easy to get caught up in a, in a string of missions that sort of lock you into this, into place, and sort of ruin a lot of the freedoms that you have in the game. Eevee Override doesn't do that. Um, but, uh, we're gonna play, uh, we're gonna play the original Escape Velocity. Let's go ahead and enter my ship here. At some point I may end up just, uh, changing the controls on screen. Look at this, uh, look at these great renders. The new age of peace and prosperity was a failure. The discoveries that made faster than light travel possible brought us untold riches and unknown dangers. The alien warships appeared without warning and decimated most of the outer colony of worlds within hours. There was no stopping the mysterious alien menace. The Great War was upon us. But we beat them. The human race banded together into a powerful confederation of worlds whose combined military strength was enough to turn the tide of the war. Within eight years, the enigmatic alien marauders were extinct. But the elite and powerful members of the Confederation were reluctant to give up their power after the end of the war, and began a rule of oppression and tyranny aided by a powerful Confederation Navy. They exploited the outer colony worlds for the benefit of the wealthy core world, stripping them of their resources and coercing the colonists into forced labor. The reign of terror lasted for 15 years, then the instruction began. I'm reading really fast now. The outer colonies, weary of the Confederation practice of exploiting their land of binding enemy resistance aimed at destroying their oppressors. <laughs> In time, their pitiful courses grew with the help of some Confederate corporations into a formidable navy. The galactic civil war still rages on and no end is sight. For a brave and resourceful starship pilot, the stars are filled with untold opportunities and unknown threats. After years of serving as the first mate of an ore freighter, you have finally scraped together enough to buy your own ship, a small but steady cargo shuttle. In your journey over to the neutral point of Flevo. Oh man, I used to could read faster than that. Good luck, Captain. So here we go. Uh, escape Velocity. As I said, it's a space sim. Look at all these beautiful uh, ships flying around. You can make your own way. Um, you're able to join sides with any of the certain, any of the, uh, any of the um, sides that you want, the Confederation or the Rebels, I guess in this case. Um, you can go explore, go explore the galaxy, find aliens. Um, you can just live your life as a little bit of a, uh, just a cargo freight runner. You can see people fly and they arrive and disappear. It's a nice, it's a bit of a quiet game. Here we go. Uh, Levo is an independent world that has resisted joining the Confederation. Anyone is welcome at this tiny but nat neutral Levo spaceport. Located in the island of Aunt Lokanda in Levo's central or southern ocean. My goodness, I cannot read tonight. Um, at the start of the game, you have a few choices here. Uh, you can go to the commodity exchange. This is basically your stock market or whatever. You buy low, you sell high. Buy low, trade to a different world, sell high. If you, one of the things you can do is build up uh, cargo runs um, or like uh, trade routes where you can just 
buy low and then sell high somewhere else and then buy something else low there and then sell somewhere else it works well if that's what you want to do you go visit the bar uh, there you can hire an escort basically a ship to follow you around and some usually it's like carry cargo or protect you or something you can gamble um, no, I lost lost a thousand credits uh, watch the hollow vid troubled by floods try our sandbags they'll keep you dry environmental news less than thin tanker spills off the coast of Locari and Levo whoops mission computer this is where I spend most of my time honestly until like I get into a this particular mission line or something um, check to see what pays the most 10,000, 10,000, 25, 25, 10 uh, you can only carry so much uh, you can see down here where it says free that's all the cargo space this takes up 10 tons of cargo space takes up 9 tons and then uh, you can hit M and that brings up your map the map's really small in this one for some reason uh, spike is pretty close so that little green arrow there means like the, the the mission that you're highlighting where it goes and then if I click accept then it turns red and then uh, we'll go ahead and see if there's anything else in that area no nothing there alright so I'm gonna you shift click and click on a map and then click on another spot to uh, to travel to other places now you should probably hit hyperspace to do another system Hit M to access the map, select a nearby system and move outward, and select J to begin your jump. I already did that. So, while this game is hyperspace jumping, what you want to do is um, hit J at the right time. Oh, looks like there's a firefight going on. Once you get a little bit into the game, like pirates and other stuff will start to attack you. And Oh, oh crap. Like, right now. I'm, I'm pretty much about to get blown up. This is how this game works. Yeah, there's a pirate. Yeah, everybody's a pirate here. Oh, oh, yes. Go whoever you guys are. Oh, oh well. Ship got blown up. So that, um, I'm not sure, like, I haven't played the original Escape Velocity in a long time. I don't know if that was a rebel or a confederation ship or what. But, uh, there you go. I already died. This is, uh, this is how this game works. You know, load up Jesse on and enter ship again it always starts you back at the last planet that you landed at um, so that's pretty good you can usually just get right back into the action and I uh, hope this time there aren't just pirates there waiting to take us out because I think I'm not sure if I have any weapons or not yeah, those are, oh, those are rebels. Okay. Yay, rebels. This looks like to, probably a rebel world then, since these guys are all rebels. Land. And then everywhere you go, you gotta refill your ship. You only have so many jumps of fuel. And uh, I'm not sure if in if it if it's just in Nova. I think some of the earlier games also had weapons that used up fuel as well. Um, ooh, here's the outfit ship. Here's where we can buy stuff to... Uh, to make our make everything better, uh, usually a map. It's good to have a map. Uh, buy a map. It shows just it lights up all the like two worlds around you, two jumps around or something like that. Uh, usually most of the stuff is like some lasers, laser turrets. Can't even fit that on my ship. Definitely can't fit a fighter bay on there. Um, various kinds of armor. I can hold that. A little extra fuel tank is good. Escape pod. Uh, these are always good to have. I like having the, the IFF decoder at least. Turns your map color, or it turns your little radar thing color, so you can see what colors you or what um, what everything is. Like red will be targets that are, are actively going actively targeting you to attack. Um, green is like your escorts, and blue is um, ships that are not attacking you. I could buy this uh, shield booster, which is a dangerous and highly illegal ship upgrade. Um, decoy flare. Oh, that's um, 
kind of handy actually, but I don't have enough to buy it. Those uh, the missiles that were locking onto me before I blew up could have been disabled, um, you know, uh, not disabled, but uh, like drawn away by these flares. Um, javelin rockets, those are basically straight line rockets, just shooting a straight line. You can buy them in pods. I'm not sure if this game has them in uh, turrets, but I only ever buy javelins in turrets just because otherwise you have to aim them and they're kind of hard to aim. And especially, I guess I never buy rockets. Look at these things. Uh, anyway, let's go check out the bar. Nothing going on here. Brought to you by Hard Bank Com Huge Decks. Technology news Hard Bank Com Huge Decks, planning largest technology convention in the galaxy. Most of the time, the news doesn't say anything important. Sometimes it'll say, like, when there's a big price increase or a price drop on certain worlds of goods and commodities, and you have so much time to get over there and buy stuff if you want. I just look at it for fun. Um, 10,000. Oh, this is 25. This is 25. I can barely carry them. Um, so that's three jumps away. That is, like, nowhere near me. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I'll accept this one, and uh, we'll shift click my route over there. When I first booted up the game, I think I was approached by a by like a United Shipping or something right off the bat. But right now, all we're gonna do is we're gonna earn up some credits to buy ourselves a uh, buy ourselves a new ship down here at the very bottom. Got my cargo space. What's in my cargo hold? And how many credits I am worth. And I'm pushing W, I don't have any secondary weapons. Oh, okay. Gonna wanna R. I don't have any primary weapons either. Gonna wanna land. There we go. When you land, you get your ship gets uh, its shields and armor repaired. Shield re reboost itself uh, automatically. I'm not sure if armor does. I think armor does. It's like a, I believe it does it in a separate uh, space. Yeah, it, they have separate uh, separate rates for it. Bridge the future, coming soon to a theater near you. Entertainment news. Con Huge D Soft releases classic video games package including old favorites such as Pong, Maelstrom, and Avara. Uh, this is a little uh, easter egg to some of the other games that um, the Ambrosia Software, the people that made EV, no, or EV, had about the same time. Maelstrom was basically like a an asteroids clone with power ups and cool stuff, and Avaro was like, it was Avaro was really cool actually. It if it if it's the game I'm thinking of, Avaro was a um, 3D um, sort of like arena shooter where you would design and build up a um, this robot it basically looked like an ostrich they might have been called ostriches build up this robot equip it out with, like rockets and grenades and lasers make it decide whether you want it to be heavy or light so it can jump and move around or it's pretty slow and you just pitted in different areas it was easily modded um, you, there were cool maps for it all the time and um, sadly these games will no longer uh, be around. A lot of the old uh, Ambrosia software games were are basically um, they would be abandonware except they haven't been abandoned. They just have never been ported to um, to new systems. Only these Escape Velocity games have because they're they're really well loved. And I think it was actually like an independent team, like just some. Just some other people decided they wanted to do it, and they modded EV Nova to bring these other games back. But Ambrosia Software basically made all the games of my teenage years. They made most of them, at least. Especially, uh, I remember Harry the Handsome Executive was one of my favorites. So uh, this is a uh, this uh, little bit of entertainment news here is a uh, little we'll, little we'll hit in the feels, little hit in the feels for me. Now I have a receipt in my pocket. Get rid of that receipt from dinner. All right. Um, Virgo. No, don't want to go there. New France. Nope. 
Lotho Prime. Oh, there are two things to go to Lotho Prime. Unfortunately, I can't take both, so it's kind of pointless, but I can take one. Um, they're all about the same. I'll accept that, leave, and nothing here is worth buying. Um, so I'll just go jump into that system. Unfortunately, I can't jump directly to it because I don't have like a... You see there's no line from there to there because you can only jump so far past what you've explored or bought a map for. So you'll have to, once we jump, I'll have to hit M button and open it back up the map and... Open back up the map. Oh look, and there's no way to get there from here. So you have to sort of jump, jump back. This is sort of how exploration works. Uh, sounds like there's a firefight. Let's jump into this system and hope there's uh, at least a planet to land on for now. So I can refuel. Oh, well. Bugger. Oh, there's a bad guy in here too. No time to hang around. Um, we're going to jump right back. Hit R for look closest to me. That's a clipper. He's going to take us out pretty fast. That's a big rebel cruiser. That's a big ship there. Got a refuel. People Brox is a wild world, a world of wild parties and wild people. If you have two heads, three arms, and an ego problem, don't travel to People Brox. You will be laughed at and considered boring and unoriginal. There's a lot of like little references like this, and I believe this is the yeah, this is the Zephod um, system. Zephod system with People Brox is the home, is the planet. I, you know, one thing I'm impressed by is just how well this mod worked. Um, how well it, it really creates the feel of the game. Right, time to run. Alright, good. One more jump, and there's nobody here to pester me. I mean, this, uh, this font here, that's not in the, in the EV, uh, in EV Nova. I want to go to Prime, right? Yes, I want to go to Prime. Also, another thing about uh, EV Nova is, or the whole series, is that everything is like Newtonian physics. So you gotta like, if you're going a certain way, you push down, and down doesn't stop you. Down turns you around. If you hold it down, it'll turn you around so you can hit up to uh, to hit your thrusters and slow down again. It's a pretty cool system. Here's our far shipyard. So this is a shuttlecraft, a light freighter. As you can see, things are pretty expensive. Um, we'll probably want to get a... I don't want to get a defender because you can't actually do anything with that. Um, it has three jumps and one ton of cargo. It's pretty crappy. A scout ship could be decent. It's got a lot of jumps and a lot more cargo and two laser cannons. We're going to buy that. Allows you rust bucket too. And hit the spaceport bar. You always hit the bar to see if there's any any cool story missions to do. Just another remark unremarkable bar on an unremarkable planet. The only thing that's different is the logo on the napkins. That and the pretzels are slightly saltier here. Um, brought to you by Hardbank Comhugedox. Reader survey. 30% of Martian citizens believe the first moon landing was a hoax. Uh, ferry passengers to landfall. That dude, dude is 25 for those, 25 for those. Wait, let's go to Earth. And let's see if there's anything to take on the way to Earth. Hey, we can, uh, yeah, we can definitely do that. All right. So we'll do some of this. Jump around to there, stop at that planet. Now we actually have some guns. So uh, make sure there's nobody here. Oh, but since we changed our ship, we no longer have the color map. So this is what happens every time you change your ship. Ooh. 
Sometimes you'll get stuff from ships, too. Greetings, Jesse Allen. I've got a shipment of expensive cargo bound for Levo. I'd sure feel safer if you were along with me for protection. Pay 25,000 cre credits. Um, it's a bit of a... That's just a bit of a detour. That's sure. Let's do it. And then this guy will hang around with us. All we have to do is just jump. have to jump and this scout ship has nine jumps so we're like we're pretty good here on fuel that's like the one good thing about the scout ship is it can jump so we're gonna land on levo turn around slow down there we go 25,000 refuel out we go again. But yeah, this is like this is another nice chill game. This is gonna be my daily series um, for a little while. I hope you enjoy it because I really enjoy this game. Um, I die a lot and I'm pretty bad at it actually, but I do love playing it. Okay, land on landfall. That's the confed ship right here. Oh, 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 okay. It wasn't reading my, um, reading my button presses at first. If you will, let's get, um, let's get my IFF decoder. And it's not like a waste when you completely buy a new ship. Um, you get a, like every, everything you own on your ship gets a, uh, added on as like a, um, it, it's it it's you're it's added onto the net worth of your ship, so you can so you know you can get a better deal on one of them. Uh, clippers are pretty much my favorite. We'll, we'll try to get one of those at some point, but right now this uh, right now the the scout ship it'll do us all right. Um, we still won't be much in a real firefight, but we can take on some smaller ships. All right, we finally entered the Sol system. So what have we got here? It looks like uh, there's a space station. There's Earth. There's Luna, where we're landing at. There we go. Let's visit the bar. Welcome to the bunker, the most heavily shielded bar in the Sol system. Sponsored in part by the Sirius Cybernetics Corporation. Another lecithin tanker spills off the coast of Levo. No ships available to purchase here. This is the uh, Confederation shipyard, so if we get in good with the Confederation, we can buy their ships here, but until then we can't. Um, let's go land here on Earth. Let's go check out Earth. As every school kid knows, Earth is the home world of the human race. It's also the capital of the Confederation. There is no bar. Huh. Kestrels, nice. And we got plenty of uh, ship outfits here. It looks like there's no javelin or there's no javelin turrets in this one. Kind of too bad. Proton turret is good. Um, we don't have any turret spots. In addition, with like item mass, which as we see we have 35 tons, it only takes 30 tons. But uh, turrets also take up a special turret slot and we don't have any of that turret slot, so no turrets for us. Can, however, buy a neutron blaster, which we'll add on to our laser cannon. Um, so we have laser cannons, um, the neutron blasters, and the proton cannons. Let's go ahead and um, Heck, we're going to do it. We're going to go ahead and uh, load that up. Things are going to have a bit of a surprise when they f come fight us. It has terrible range, but it's uh, pretty fun. <laughs> There's no bar here either. 
This is Stardock Alpha. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you basically buy the exact same stuff as uh, you can on Earth. I'm not sure what the difference is then. Uh, let's go to the mission computer. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, 10,000. Really? There's a firefight here? What's going on? Oh, there's rebels. Let's, uh, let's go take a look. Don't want to get too close, but um, otherwise this happens, yeah. You get hit. But yeah, there's a firefight. Little, um, little rebel mantas taking on a big ol' confed cruiser. There's also a rebel cruiser, rebel destroyer. It was taken out. Space combat in this game is pretty fun. Um, usually, I just get um, attacked by pirates. Let's go down here. We land on Mars. Mars is the human race's second oldest colony world. It's first settled in the middle of the 21st century. It's now home to nearly a billion inhabitants. Hear that? 21st century will be us. Sign above the door to this spaceport cantina is made of a piece of the heat shield of a 21st century re-entry vehicle. It reads the Arrow Break. Sponsored by Conglom Corp. Weather due to glaciers, school on Samson's planet is cancelled for the 6,378th day in a row. Just checking to see if there's any good um, missions. Hey, we can, uh, we can definitely take that. So we're good for now. Just have to jump out. You can only jump out when you're a certain distance away from the um, from the system center. Generally, the system center is the uh, is a is the planet the main planet generally um, oh okay we're stuck here Gonna jump out probably could have parked and uh, picked up a map probably should have have a probably should have picked up a map but uh, we don't need no stinking map And the way the map system works is pretty funny, because things like uh, what I imagine might happen here can happen. Yep, where it looks like two systems are right next to each other, and they're totally not. But that's only really a problem at the very beginning of the game. Going too fast. If you will. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I guess we can't buy much here. There's an auto refueler. This is pretty handy. It'll just, uh, basically whenever you land it just automatically refuels you so you don't have to worry about pushing the button. Um, always check missions. You never know, if, you know, gonna be going somewhere. Always check the bar. Drink Crystal Cola. Hey, you can see through it. Top news story. Escape Velocity 637 updater fixes small bug with 637.0 that affects users of clock chip nano quad 3000 mimetic biogel processors. I just like reading the. I just like reading those. Uh, let's head to that last uh, mission ob mission objective and uh, we'll call it a day for right now. Kind of too bad you can't buy much on that system. I was hoping to at least buy a map. Because it helps to have a map, as Guys of the Wolf would say. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. Rebels and Confeds. There's also pirates. I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's aliens. There has to be aliens. Evie Override did a lot more of the aliens, though. All right, so refuel, outfit, buy a map. <laughs> Can't hold anything because everything takes up space. We could 
um, turn 15 tons of cargo capacity into 10 more like um, weapon and upgrade slots which is might be a good idea we, we have a ton of cargo that I may not use oh hey two men at the next table arguing I'm telling you Jenkins one of them is saying we don't have the capacity to run this excess today although I notice you staring at them hey this is the captain of the lousy rust bucket too aren't you yes interested in easy 10,000 credits you bet I am great says the first man we're with the operations department of starbound shipping we have some extra packages that need to get to Master's Planet, but all of our courier ships are out on other assignments. We'll load the cargo onto your ship, all you have to, have to do is take it to Master's Planet for easy 10,000. So there's like sort of a story mission. This basically gets me in good with the uh, Starbound shipping folks. Oh gosh. Um, we're gonna... And we're gonna head up uh, that way next time. Uh, we're probably going to stop at Seoul by a map, see if we can get over here somewhere. But uh, that's what we'll get to next time. I'm Jesse on. Thanks for joining me. This is Escape Velocity. And uh, I'll see you next time.